Hey everyone, Steel from the Sphere Forms. Uh, just a quick little video uh, with my new uh, load tester. Uh, this is similar to what Dr. Bass did using the um, 3010B eye charger. And uh, I picked up these resistors off eBay. They're 0.15 ohm. So I should say, what? Less than quarter ohm. Oh, well, if you actually see, they're actually smoking a bit. <laughs> I think these are uh, probably like some stuff on them, or maybe they were damp. You can't really see them too much, but they're smoking a bit. Ooh, I'm gonna actually stop that. <laughs> I just noticed the wires are getting or melting. Anyways, what I was trying to show is that the. Um, Basically, this was running at 30 amps, and these are 0 0.15, 0 0.15 ohms each. So they're less than an ohm. They're really low, and I have 14 of them in series. So I got lucky. I found this on a lot on eBay. Um, they were I got them for about I can't remember. They were less than 100 bucks for all of them. So I got a really good deal. These are probably about 40, 50 bucks each. Um, and I put them in series. So basically the idea is that I'm hooked up from here so I can go and adjust the resistance maybe with the clamp um, to where I want it. So basically I had this just running before the wire started melting here. Yeah, that wire is really soft. So uh, basically I had the same problem that Dr. Boss explained in his video. So we put the lead here uh, on the eye charger. I was getting about 16, 17 amps, and that's approximately about 30, you know, 30 60, 90, about one, one mil ohm, about right there. Um, if I would put it here or even here, it wouldn't really go. Um, basically it wouldn't go any higher uh, like it would just stop at it would hit like close to 14 15 amps and then it drops down so it's as if it doesn't really like the fact that the resistance is too low so what you have to do is basically you clamp it here when this hits about 14 15 amps then you basically do something like this which I don't have this wired up properly but you can touch that against that which is where it should be this is where I should be connecting the lead but for some reason the eye charger doesn't like the resistance being too low right off the bat so you have to start off with something a little higher let the eye charger max out on the amperage and then you connect this and then it jumps right up to about 30 amps bang on 30 31 amps is what it was seeing there um, and yeah it was working pretty good uh, so it's pulling about 650 watts on this and uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, what I'll do is the wires cooled off a bit. I'm gonna see if I can uh, do another quick video just to show. I'm gonna separate these. So these wires are pretty crappy. The wires are not gonna be so. Oh, they're a little bit jelly. So. put some turny G wire in there, it's right at the 200 degrees, shouldn't do that, this stuff is crap, 80 degrees, well, we were definitely at 80 degrees, so, so we're going to try it again, and I'll demonstrate, sorry, just bear with me for a second here, yeah, I definitely need to make some good leads here, <laughs> even this one's broken, as you can see there, I think she'll do for one more time. Let's see if I can do it. Just want to give you a little demonstration. I think I can do this instead.
All right, that looks pretty safe. <laughs> All right, so my battery's a little low now, but she still got some juice in it. So, so, so I'll set this at this charge plus, which on the i charger means that you use the external load. Uh, the external resistor runs across the positive lead here. So basically across the positive, you put this in series. So one lead goes to the charger, one lead goes to the positive in the battery. And then the negative just goes straight to the charger, pretty straightforward. So, uh, again, we're at 30. So right now we're at 1 ohm. Okay, and then I'm going to bring it down to 30. Yeah, yeah, no, sorry, 60. 60 ohms. And let's go. So it should max out at about 350-ish watts, I think. Can't remember if it's a little higher. I don't know if it was almost 400. Okay, so we're about a minute minute in. So now I'm gonna connect this. It's right here. And I'm gonna just connect it there and we'll watch you. It just went jumped straight up to 30 almost. I don't know how good that is for the eye charger. I know Dr. Bass managed to break his somehow. Sorry about that. This screen's probably a little bit better. So that's pulling about 31 amps. These wires are going to melt soon. But there you go, 640 watts, basically. Um, I'm going to try to do one other video and maybe post it. I want to do a 10S. This is just a 6S, turn to G. But um, we'll see how 10S performs. I'll try that next. And these are hot. Wow. That's what I call a heater. <laughs> That's a lot of wattage. 600 watts of heat. Alright. Thanks for watching. Bye.